everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh. And today I wanted to talk to you about sizing and consistency and the importance of consistency with sizing. In order to have consistent results with your trading, it, first of all, you need a winning system. That goes without saying. You have to have a system that has a high win ratio. I do, it's the golden gap. But secondly, even if you're using a system that works, whatever the system that happens to be, you have to take consistent risk in your sizing, meaning you can't be up and down all the time like this. In fact, I'd say to people, listen, look at four quarters of the year. If you want to increase your sizing or decrease your sizing, you shouldn't be changing it every day or every week or even every month. I, I would say you don't even need to trade it, change it every year, okay, even though there's four quarterly earning seasons, but you could, you could if, is what I'm saying. But either way, every trade you take should be of equal or similar size. And again, when you're taking trades, sometimes we're taking them really quickly. You're, this is an estimate. If your risk is $500 and you risk $550, that's not the end of the world. But if your risk is $500 and you end up risking $2,000, well, that's completely wrong. That means that you would have taken four times the risk in one trade that you normally would. Even if the cash is there, it doesn't matter. You're going to have your results are going to be all over the place. You have to have consistent risk per trade sizing properly the cash risk okay this isn't about the share quantity because your share quantity will not be the same especially if you're trading with me because the stops that we take are different on each trade and the cost of the options too are different on each trade depending on the cost of the stop so you have to have consistent risk per cash per trade the amount that it costs you to take it that if the trade loses you will lose or if the trade wins you're looking to make again one one over one amount. So say you risk 500, you're looking to make 500. That's what I typically go for. Now, some trades go more, some trades are slightly less, some trades are go to the dream target, but that's neither here nor there. Your risk amount has to be the same or very, very close to it. And if you're not good with math, then you know what? You got to get a calculator. I've had this calculator for so long. I've had this calculator. I have had this calculator for 30 years. That's pretty crazy. It's a Texas instrument calculator that I've had for 30 years. I don't use it that often because I'm really good with math in my head, but I always have it. It's always right here, sitting right here next to me. And if you don't have a calculator next to you and you're not good with math, you've got to get one and buy one today. They're dirt cheap. You can get one anywhere. Order from Amazon. You can get it by tomorrow or get it same day delivery. And again, sometimes I need to use it, but most of the times I do it in my head. But if you're not good with math, then you need a calculator. You've got to have it because you really have to be careful with your risk. You want to have consistent results. Any questions, email me at melissathestockswish.com. Have a great day, everyone, and good luck.